Well, give me the gory details. You want the gory details? All right, just give me the gory details. And uh, she will call you later with all the gory details. You owe me nothing but the gory details. Don't leave out nothing. We love gory detail here. You know, I would love to sit and go over every gory detail with you, fat boy. And I want all the gory details. I want all the gory details. I want to hear all the gory details. I hear the gory details, I guess. Another gory details. Gory detail with which you speak. The gory details. We count all the gory details. All the gory details. All the gory yeah. details. Yeah. Hear the gory details. Please uh. leave out the gory details. Oh, that must have been a pretty gory spectacle. In gory detail. Which is going to have a gory feel to it. Last one's a little more gory. With all the gory details. No, no gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. Spare me. Spare me. Spare me, self, me ship, me crew. No, spare me. Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me. Spare me from what? Of the gory details. With gory stories. It's not really scary, but gory. Here's nature and all its gory. Back in my gory days. It's too gory. It's pretty gory. Gory. The gory? The gory. 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 And give me the details. Give me the details. Details. And spare no detail. I'll spare you the gory details. I'll spare you the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. I mean.
boy. Ah, feels good to be out of that coffin there. Oh, hey, that's me. Let's get spooky. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and guys and ghouls, and ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi. My name is Sean Gory, and I'll spare you the gory details. I hope you're all having a wonderful Monster Monday. We're coming to you live this evening from a little bit more of Beyond Contact. Beyond Contact is this indie action adventure, exploration, survival, resource management, uh, open world sci-fi game where we crash land on this planet that's probably about to like rip itself apart. And we've encountered some hostile species, and we've also encountered some friendly species. And we're kind of trying to save everybody, including ourselves. We've set up a base, we've got quests, we've got missions, we've got objectives. Um, we even have, like, daily stuff we can try doing. I haven't done, like, any of the daily stuff, because just trying not to die has taken up most of our time. If we're not starving to death, we are going to asphyxiate from oxygen dep deprivation. Um... Or, you know, we'll freeze to death because it gets freezing at night and there are like these sort of natural disasters that come through. There's been meteorite strikes, there's been eclipses, which isn't a big deal except for it's night longer and all your solar stuff is useless. Ow. Um, and then there's also been like these ice storms where even when I'm inside and I'm holding a torch, it wasn't enough to keep me warm. I had to throw one on the ground and hold one like... It's been a lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what the plan's here. We're going to pick up where we left off, try to make some more progress in the story, try to sort of pimp out our weapons, armor, tools, our base, maybe knock out a daily quest. We'll see what they ask for. They've asked for some pretty ludicrous stuff, like, oh, yeah, just kill this giant monster and collect its fangs. I'm like, nah, that thing will destroy me. <laughs> yes, um, so I'll tell you what. You look... Above my head, you might notice this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker for this little thing called Extra Life. For those of you who don't know, Extra Life is this absolutely free 24 hour charity gaming marathon where you can play games for an entire day. It helps raise funds for sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospital of your choice. This could be in your own backyard or halfway across the globe, depending on where you're located. Maybe you were treated by the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, or maybe. A friend, family member, a loved one, neighbor, relative, stranger, someone on the internet, someone somewhere was trained by them, and you want to give back? Well, you can do that. You can choose to fundraise for a hospital that you've never even heard of, but you know is taking care of someone that you love. It's pretty incredible. In fact, every minute, 62 kids watch to enter a children's mental network hospital in need of life-saving care. That's just over a child per second. Big boss! Welcome back, friend. How are you? <laughs> Happy Monster Monday. Let me give you a little wave. So if you are a gamer or a game enthusiast, I cannot recommend enough looking to this great cause, but besides what's even crazier than the absolute influx of kids that need help in the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is the fact that they all receive the care they deserve without ever receiving a bill that's only made possible through participants and donors like you. Yeah, Pumpkin Jack shared some info for it right there in the chat. It's in the About Me section. It's very Googleable. I've got add-ons. It's very easy to see. Happy Monday. I'm good. Hope you are as well. I am doing well, actually. I got a little bit of sun this weekend, which you can't tell. My face is actually a little a little red, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back in this game. We did some... We kicked some major butt last week. I still have, like, this overwhelming sensation that I have so much more to do, and... That feels about right, so there's things I want to do, and we'll see what we can actually get able to, and that's what the plan is. Let me slap the cans on here. Right, it's a little off-center, off but not bad. Uh, I'll get my head out of the way. Oh, yeah, by the way, speaking of Extra Life, Kohal Kessern used their Phantom Points to make me donate a dollar round, hard and cash to this great cause. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let me pull my head out of the way. We will donate. We'll go right back into the gameplay here. In order to have a perfect night of sleep, we need some sun exposure. Honestly, I do love, like, when you're out and about in the sun all day, especially if you're working or even just playing, um, like, you can feel, like, the sun just really taking out of you. 
And if you're working hard and like, you know, sweating your butt off or running around, just having fun, when you do finally down, like it's like good night. I'm I'm ready for the to catch some Z's. Call out Catherine, thank you so much for that extra life donation, friend. Electron 2002, lurk away, friend. Appreciate you being here. There are 174 zombies currently in the horde. My goodness, that's a lot of zombies. Waiting for their opportunity to strike. Thank you so much, Kohal, for those financial points. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as complete here. Let's launch up. We're gonna go to continue. And we're kinda figure out where we are, because it's been it's been a little bit since we played. Freezing in progress. Oh good, I'm freezing to death. Exactly what I want to hear. All right, well, it's just nighttime, it's fine. Um, We have stuff to heal, which we don't necessarily need. We have stuff we can eat. We will need oxygen in a second, so... As I say that. All right, there's two things of oxygen right here. Okay. We need more than these two. Please don't charge me, bro. I can't tell if he was thinking about it. It looked like he was thinking about it. That resin was just sitting there waiting for us to pick it up. We don't necessarily need the food right now, but I'm gonna pick it up because it's... Oh, oh, it... The mini-map lied to us. It showed that it was ready to be collected. All right, well, there is more... Oh yeah, if, if this wind thing is right here, we definitely use that to... If we can get the turbine power researched and built, we can get power to our base. We did build solar last week, but obviously it's <laughs> it's nighttime. We got a little bit of um, power in the bank. We got two minutes of power, okay. We can boot up our, our one thing if we choose to. We got some options, friends. Nothing else here is really ready to collect. I lied, these guys are. Okay. Ah, home sweet home. Do I have my portable stove? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't collect. I didn't want to do that. Didn't do that, sorry. Out of range. Yeah, let's cook these. There. Now we got more foodies to eat. This is good. Pick up. And now it's back in our inventory. Right where we want it. Good, good, good. Okay. Um... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is stuff, tools, yeah. Tools and stuff that's gonna keep us alive. Let's check out our daily quest real quick. Um, nope. Dailies. Um, defeat three corrupted raiders. We could do that. Fabricate tamer cloth. We could do that. First aid kit, I've never made one of those. Complete five things of research, that's so much. <laughs> Defeat five urchins, I don't know about all that. Um, let's go for something simple. Let's go for the, the timber cloth. Look at that, we just got 30 XP for that. We will put this. Put this kind of we got like workplace stuff. We haven't really had like constructed stuff. Put that here. Um, constructed. We haven't really got like collected. Yeah, we'll have like natural stuff and then like manufactured stuff or. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, I'll get, like, a system for my storage, but that's later. Um, I'm so happy. What's up, Brayden? Welcome back, friend. 
what's uh what's going on in, in your life that it's got you all riled up, friend? Dailies. Do I have to like collect this? That's no, automatic, okay. Um Fabricate first aid kit. So let's what do we need to make a first aid kit? First aid kit. Shock Sprite Gel. I never even heard of it, so that's not happening. <laughs> um what else we got for our dailies? Complete research. I mean, I'd love to do that. And then fabricate a solar panel. Let's do that. Um, solar panel. Oh, we got plenty of ingredients for that. So look at that. We just got 140 XP. Holy smokes. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Freezing in progress. Oh, our torch burned out. Oh, it's an eclipse right now. It's an no wonder it's dark. It's gonna be in, uh, dark for another five minutes. Okay, um, yeah, just when we built the solar panel last week. I do want to get us a better weapon. Um, I know we we like had like a whip thing we could make. The security baton, eighteen damage. What's our what's our what's this thing do? 16 damage. Okay, so that baton will do more damage than that that prod. Let's not freeze to death. How about that? First things first. Let's uh let's look into that security baton. We need ember crystal. Okay, well let's go looking for some ember crystal. I am like positive there's gonna be some out here. That's a little bit of a poke. Is there any closer? Oh boy, wall of text. Uh, <laughs> I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 on Steam, and every single time I tried to open Rockstar Game Launcher, uh, it crashed. Oh, your whole computer, not just like the program? Fudge. I'm sorry to hear that, Brayden. Imagine paying for a game and not being able to play it. Is your computer just like uh, really old, or is the game just like really unoptimized? Like, could you use it lower the settings? It's been, like three days. I watched so many videos on how to fix it. Today I saw one and told myself it doesn't. Work, I'm just gonna refund the game and get my 60 bucks back. But it worked and I had to do was close uh, Steam through the task manager and the launcher's administrator. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you got it uh, up and running. I'm sorry to hear that that was an issue in the first place. I had an issue with um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 where it would not launch, period. I posted on the Call of Duty subreddit. I reached out to the literal game developers and they didn't know what was wrong. What happened was it was um it was my modem and router. I had a combo where it, the modem and router were one unit. Don't pick a fight with me. Freezing in progress. Okay, well we're doing that. But yeah, so uh, it didn't like my modem and router that they were together, so I just, um, I eventually replaced them with one modem and one router, and it fixed it. So, for some whatever reason, however they developed the game, it just was not, it didn't like the, the all-in-one kind of setup, so I got rid of the all-in-one setup. Wow, I ran out of pockets. Okay. Um, what could I get rid of? I could eat some of this. That'll heal us up. Look at that. We're healed up. There's bits of coral everywhere. Can I pick this up? Nope. Um I probably should have put away that solar panel I made. It's fine. We'll heal up, and I'm going to drop these. Look at that. Suits run out of buckets. It's fine. Well, we got the coral or that crystal stuff we were looking for. Let me get a little bit more, because I don't want to just be running on empty all the time. Sorry for the long message. It's okay, Brandon. I eventually read it all. 
Oh shoot, that was the way we came from. Um, I got all turned around here. Oh, there is some up and up into the left here. Actually, I lied. We never even collected that stuff we came out here for. We got in a fight, and that was the end of it. Silly. Oh, jeez. Hold on, Brayden. <laughs> I still haven't caught up with your old messages. Is it going to play my beloved Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes. Rockstar's a billion dollar company, yet their launcher sucks. I mean, technically, it's, it, Steam had a little bit to do with that, and it could be your computer. Like you said, like you just shut down Steam, which meant, like, you didn't have enough allocation to run both, so who knows. When I plug my secondary router via uh, wireless LAN, I have to, a lot of issues. I just like to get a suit or suite, but I plug in the LAN port and that's it. Yeah, man, <sighs> what do I do? It's all a learning curve. So Braden Redeemed didn't ask me anything here. Uh, let's see what it says. Ever played Red Dead Redemption 2? No. If you haven't, you should. It's one of the best stories in all video games in my opinion, a lot of other people's. I've heard nothing but good things about it, Brayden. Um, the fact that Jack Black just sang a song about it was great too. I've tuned into a bunch of people's streams about it. Um, and obviously like I know it's a Rockstar game, so people that make Grand Theft Auto, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, oh, there we go, we got room. Nowhere to put that. How do, how do I not have, there we go. This is gonna be pretty good. Um, I did watch some gameplay of it, and it looked... The scene I saw, the main character got drunk in a bar looking for a character named Lenny, and it was... It was amazing. It was it was just amazing. Um, I don't know... We can get resin literally anywhere. I'm gonna drop this, because we need these crystals more than anything. There are hundreds of vids on it. Yep, yep. You have to watch a work around video to fix it if you can. Yep. Yep. Oh, I oh, I know how the game ends, but again, it's 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 not the the, the destination, it's the journey, you know? But I know exactly what you mean. Well good news is the um the Eclipse is gonna be over in 30 seconds, so we won't have to fight with my torch will just go out? I'm assuming the sun's coming up in 30 seconds, so I'm not going to light another torch. The Lenny mission is a good one. I, no, it, it it was super cute. It was super cute. Alright, the sun's coming up, and I'm no longer freezing. Okay, this is good. Okay, um... Well, we have that solar panel... That solar panel we made. Can we turn it into, like, a solar... Like, generator, kind of? So just for fun, yeah, habitat. What do we need to make another solar array? Solar array. Solar panel, we need four of those fudge. Can we make four more? We need all of our, our ember crystals. Um, anyway, let's give ourselves that sweet weapon, the security baton. Okay, I'm going to store this kind of rod. Do we have any more void crystals? Yes, we do. Jock sprite thingies. Yep. Urchin carp. I think that they buy these. I don't know what goo plasm does yet. We're gonna store that. I'm gonna hold on to these for now. We might be able to use these to like pimp out our base, but I'm not even sure if we need it at the moment. Drunk Arthur, the main character, the best things ever in this dialogue. Let him! <laughs> you don't know that skirt for me? I'll come out wrong. <laughs> yes. No, it, it looked super cute. There we go. Playing Resident Evil 4, finished it last week, and I'm missing it already. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so just for fun, how are we doing on our... It's charging, it's charging, and this, the solar array is doing its thing. Plus eight. Yeah, we're, we're producing tons of energy, so... Oh, you're getting Red Dead uh, or Resident Evil 4 for the VR? That's gonna be sick. 
Well, um, we don't necessarily need the fruit, the food, but might as well pick it if it's here, right? That way we can regrow. We won't starve while we're out and about. So there, I want to make like there's like a whip we can make, and I'll freeze outside at night. It's already gonna be night. I feel like that solar eclipse just ended. Um. So, to make this whip, tubing easy, wiring easy, shock, sprite, tendril, explored could turn to find this item. So we've never found shock sprites. Alright, well... We have the mini-pack, let's get the multi-pack. The viperlisk scales. The viperlisk are those giant snakes, um... I haven't intentionally picked a fight with one of them before. We have heals. We have food. Let's go pick a fight with a giant snake. What do you guys say? Red Dead's slow at the beginning? I believe that. I mean, so is Grand Theft Auto because, like, you're poor, right? Like, you... You don't become a multi-millionaire until you do all the crazy missions, and you don't have, like, a, the cool cars, and, you know, it's it's a grind for sure. I mean, this game, holy smokes, I'm grinding just not to die. <laughs> but now I have, like, a security baton, and I'm trying to get, like, an electric whip, which is exciting. So this food is going bad. Once that bar, or that coolant bar gets to the bottom, are they all going to be gone? Or is it just going to be... Just the one? Okay, I don't... I don't know where those... Freezing in progress. I don't want to fight them in the dark. I don't know where those Venom Viper Lisks are. We're gonna about to find out, though. I go over here and it's like, oh, it's too much corruption. It's one thing. Oh, oh, crap, there's those dudes! There's those dudes! I didn't realize there's a, a crystal formation there. Ugh. I don't want to fight them in the void. I'll fight them when I'm not about to, like, get radiation poisoning. When I build, like, a radiation suit, I'll fight them. Yep. Corruption. Don't want to fight those, those dudes like this. Yep, that's another... There's another crystal thing right there. I might not have a choice but to fight these guys inside the corruption. Wait, do I not have to worry about freezing right here? Hold on. Let's bust out this. In progress. Oh, dear. I have to worry about because I was holding it like a big dummy. This does not cause nearly as much damage as I would have liked. To take them on one by one isn't bad. I can take them on one by one. So I'm gonna drop. Corruption detected. I'm gonna drop this here. Now I'm gonna lure these guys over here. How do I get? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come over here, buddy. Freezing in progress. Did you hit me once. Freezing in progress. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Not freezing at the moment. It's still nighttime. Come here, buddy. Come on. Warning. 
Come here. Come here. Oh, he's got a sniper? Don't love that. Not you. Don't run away, you little. Warning. Corruption detected. Freezing in progress. Quit running away, rat. You rat. Corruption detected. Quit running away. Quit running away. Okay, I'm gonna try beating up your little hut. Actually, let me get my torch. I'll drop the torch at the, the hut. Where's my baton? Please don't resurrect more bad guys. Oh, I'm about to die. Um, don't love that. Can't get any help okay. here. That they're healing the crystal. Corruption detected. I would love the whip because I feel like I could do I could damage more than one of these guys at a time. Full health. I will fight those guys later. Hi, guy. All right, you, you got me once. You got me once. Good job. All right, we did it. We got some money, which I have been poor. <laughs> I have been poor on. For quite a while. We got a bunch of money. Heck oxygen. yeah. Warning. Oh yeah, oxygen's good. I should probably get oxygen. There's oxygen over here. Woo! Well, we can research something. Warning. Corruption detected. What can we research? Um... Defrabrication. Done. All right. Well, we had a quest too. Dailies. Um, defeat corrupted readers. We did three of them. Awesome. 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 This is like the first time we've actually gotten quest dailies done. I definitely don't think I'm gonna get the first aid kit done, but that's okay. Um, let's go to the oasis. And um. See if we can't sell some of the stuff or even buy some stuff. Ooh, what is this? Is this a gun? We have a rifle now? Bro. We have a gun. Ooh, maybe the, the spiky things over here. Have you heard of this game called Kenna Bridge of Spirits? I can't say I have. Tell me more about it. Warning. Scores detected. Loom I crystal. Can't pick this open with my fingers. So I need... Oh, I think this is where we can get those, um... Viper snake things. I am detecting an unusual energy frequency nearby. I have marked its location on your map. Mark this location. Corruption detected. Oh gosh, there's there's another void tower over here. 
It looks like a Pixar movie, uh, fighting against corrupted spirits. Oh. Whoa, 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 what, what kind of damage am I taking right now? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Huh. He says called Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. I can't say I've heard of it. I will... All right, so we're we're clearly taking some type of damage. So what, I don't want to be in this biome anymore. Okay, what can we do to heal? Um, we can eat. This is about to expire anyway. Um, I know we need a bunch more of these. Please don't. Please don't fight me. You guys are shooting at me. I'm just trying to pick up crystals. You know what? Let's bust up my baton and show them what the thing to. Good, I'm about to die. Let's see if I can go pick up that stuff I mine. <laughs> I know I had Metagel, but I used them all fighting those those void crystal dudes. Those void warriors. For sure, that thing I mined was over here. Wait, it's right there. Are oh, you streamed it yesterday? I'll have to check it out. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of those crystals over here. The end ember crystal mine. And yeah, we definitely need some health, which is fine. No, I'm standing in the corruption. Only for a second. Where's that crystal? I wanted to teleport, but we can take the Shoelace Express. Maybe pick some stuff up along the way. Maybe we'll find those... Bap Baprolisk monsters that we were supposed to fight. I don't feel super confident going to battle right now because um, I don't have like heals other than just eating food. I played it on PS5, but the game is available on PC as well. Okay, so like I uh, play through Steam. Dude, can I craft anything that will just make me health? Yeah, like survival stuff. Um, first aid kit. Never found a shock sprite. A matter printer. Yeah, I have not done that. A torch. No. Okay, so we got the defabricator research now. Oh, I can make metagel um, from tubing and power shroom. Okay, well, what do you make tubing from? Tubing's made from the ore, okay. I'll keep my eye open for the ore. This is the ore and what? Oh, the bio shrooms. Okay, well, I haven't seen one of those in a minute. Don't freak out, guys. I'm just getting lost here. Yeah, I, I should definitely 
get the ability to heal before I do anything silly. We've only got $89, which isn't a ton. Um... Oh, we can research something. Heck yeah. What can we research? Frost protection. That's going to be sick. We can like, not freeze either when there's an eclipse or when there's a snowstorm. Or we can go to those biomes that we were freezing in before. By the way, I've tried to donate, but it doesn't not let me for Portugal. Not sure why. Oh, that's strange. Um, I appreciate even the thought. Uh, <laughs> I I can't imagine why that was a thing. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, like I yeah, like the idea that you've been that crossed your mind. I really appreciate. Um, it's got to be for like a security reason. Like that's silly. It's like the um. The Children's Miracle Network Hospitals do fundraise for Canada, um, Puerto Rico, like, across the globe. I wonder if it's, like, a, just, like, an internet service provider thing or what. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. But either way, that the idea that that crossed your mind means a lot. I appreciate you. Thank you. You've already done plenty. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's run... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can make that meta gel. No, no, don't dig up. I want to, I want to pick you, right? Unequip. I can like harvest you by hand, right? Oh, I guess I can only dig them up. Nah. <laughs> I guess I can only dig these up. But now I should be able to craft tubing, and then therefore. Metagel. Okay, we do have some metagel. Is there more of this stuff? Hazard protection critical. Wow, this radiation is really strong. Okay, well, we're out of the radiation. Let's craft another. Tubing. Nowhere craft. to put that. Nowhere to put it. Well, I don't... Nowhere to put that. I have nowhere to put that? Might as well heal up, because uh, I need that. There, we're healed up again. We need one more bio shroom. Is there one in, like, the close proximity? Kind of. Now we're about to freeze, so there's that. Warning. Radiation detected. I know. Oh, this is the bad radiation I'm in right now. Okay, it's it's only level one here. I'll pick this up and I'll get out of dodge and then we'll heal up. Oh well actually we'll just keep it on us. I'm about to freeze to death, and I'm about to be radioactive and stuff. All right, we're getting out of dodge. We're getting out of dodge. We are no longer radiating, and we're no longer freezing. Okay, let's heal up with this. Just kidding. Um, let's craft. Can we make any more tubing? What do we need for the tubing? That. We could make tubing. Um, That's for when I'm hurt. How much tubing can we make? We got three things of meta gel. Okay, so we can get more of those bio shrooms. We'll be good. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Sweet. Okay. Let's use this crystal to teleport to the oasis and kind of go from there. All 
Are we doing... We could use some more crystal data. Okay. Um, this gives us crystal data. Oh, never mind. These guys are going to try picking a fight. Not worth it. Not worth it right now. Thanks, though. Nope, not that one. Went to the wrong one. Discovering an unknown. Discovering an unknown. Earl, get out of here. There we go. We want the oasis. There we go. Okay. Hi, friend. Let's trade. What can we sell you? Oh, actually, can we pimp out your spot? Cooking pits. They need more Brackland Tex, more Brackland Tex. Wait, no, no, I lied. They need more gold, or they need more of these coins. Okay, so now what can we sell you? So the gold stuff is basically gold. <laughs> All right, now can I pimp you guys out? Cooking pits. The Breckland Fire Pits will resume their normal operations and provide cooked foods for the, to the marketplace. So we need one more Brackland text for this one. Can I buy Brackland text? No. Wow, yeah, we can buy all kinds of cooked food. Awesome. I could sell those, but I want more. Oh. Crystal weapons? Oh my gosh. Um, so we need more Brackland text for all these upgrades. There's a classroom. Big Boss just gifted a sub. Oh my gosh, tonight Garrett of all people, no less. Big Boss, thank you so much. First off, let me give you a little bit of a shout out here. Boom. Night Garrett, you're already in the Discord, so I don't have to tell you, but if you guys do feel like joining the Discord, that is available for people who sub, or even do gifted subs, so I'll have to make sure, Big Boss, you get one here at the end of the stream. Thank you so much, friend. Appreciate you. And uh, you guys in chat, if you haven't checked out Big Boss, you should, because they were just streaming that game they were talking about that, what was it? The Kenna Bridge of Spirits? I'll have to check that out, because I, I do love like Disney and Pixar's art style. So if there's a game about it, it you got my interest for sure. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, we're still looking for those basilisk fangs, basically. Um, because yeah, I want to make this shock quote because I feel like it would be amazing. And yeah, we need to explore to get any of this stuff. These are like critical to the campaign. Bull Korg Horn? I think I know what the Bull Korg is, but I've never killed one. Hey, that works. Whatever works. <laughs> okay, we were, we were trying to get the mini pack, so we want the, the multi pack. The Viper Lisk scales. That's what we're looking for. Viper Lisk. Well, um. That dude's just having his own little dance party. All right. So I think what this guy right here outside the door is, is technically that um, bull cord. But I've never picked a fight with one before. They're right here. I think this is a bull cord. Yeah, yeah! And of course he called his friends. Wasn't trying to fight two of you. Yep, definitely just got a hit on me. As long as he doesn't do like a dash move, I should be fine. If I can learn their patterns, this isn't so bad. 
I definitely want to do more damage in the future, but if I'm like researching stuff, if I can if I can't make it myself, I can buy it in the market. Like one more hit and he should be dead. Ooh! Oh we got meat! Um, that's probably good eats if we if we cook it and I ate it raw like a big dummy. It's sad to see them like this. It was part of the mission, I'm sorry. So I got the the hide, but not his horn? How am I supposed to craft? How am I supposed to craft a bull cork horn? You only need a shotgun? I mean, I do have this rifle. It does do 30 damage, but it's only it's at 30% health because I picked it up from like uh from someone who like I killed basically, so it was it was used. Oh there's a there's a obelisk ahead. Have we unlocked this one before? We feel like we had to have. Tell you what, um I'm not at full health. Let me eat. nutrient paste I need. Alright, well, I didn't plan on fighting these guys here, but let me find these vapor list things. I can't pick this open with my fingers. Yeah, let me find these vapor list boys, and I'll use the gun on the vapor lists. I love shotguns, man. <laughs> I don't blame you. Shotguns are cool. Shotguns are cool. Is this lava? No, I can stand on it fine. Why did I stop going this way? Is it unidentified? Oh, unidentified herbivore? Keep it together. Oh, he stunned. He just stunned me. Detected. I was gonna like try scanning him, and he just wrecked my day. Wow. All my stuff is way north. Ah. Uh, I mean, he, he hit me at least twice, if not three times. Well, um. I know where my stuff is, at least. Hopefully it's, it stays there. We just gotta teleport all the way to it, though. That's gonna be a long run. Yeah, that guy wrecked my house. And like, I was wearing armor, and I was at full health. I think. Yeah, he was not pulling punches. Wow, 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 wow. I wonder if there's the Korg, which is that thing I just killed, and that thing that just killed me is the Bull Korg. Yep, there's my stuff. So the million dollar question is, can I pick it up? Or is he just going to destroy me for even thinking about it? Yeah. And I identified her before. Yep. It. So there's the Korgs and there's the Bull Korgs. And Bull Korgs are heavy hitters for sure. Well, there's two of them. So if I pick a fight with one, they're all just going to go crazy. Just passing through, don't mind me. I mean, he looks angry. I need you to get off of my things, bro. Do I... I'm not at full health. I could heal. Wait, what? Let's pick a fight with one. Ooh, yeah, he's fast. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, two hits in that game. That, oh boy. Wow, yeah, he's a, he's a tough boy. Um... Oh, he's still chasing me. Great, great, great. 
Oh, so wait, let's eat, try. Oh, God, there's another one right here. Um, let's heal up a little bit. That is all of our heals. Let's switch to a gun. And I've never used this, so Lord knows how this is going to go. Shoot, shoot. I mean, I'm, I can stun him a little bit, which is... Oh, I just missed. Oh, he just, he just hit me. Wow, this is, this is hard. This is hard. And my gun's gone. My, I used all the ammo, so it just disappeared. just so much that like when I get close I have to try flanking him better like make him do a frontward attack hit him from the side let him rear up frontward hit him ooh, he got me ooh, he got me in this range one hit I'm dead again one hit I'm dead again Your, do your big one. Your big one. It's like Dark Souls. Got him, got him, got him. That was terrifying. Oh god, please don't come over here and kill me for killing your friend. We'll play thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and his name is so dead bull cords. So there are bull cords. Unidentified creature part. Bull cork horn. Okay, so we can use this. Um, we could use the... I got so much meat, I gotta cook it when we get home for sure. Um, I have no heals, so there's that. It's getting dark again. Oh, jeez. Um... I got torches, but I don't want to take, like, any damage, because that would be really stupid. Let me, like, head in a normal direction. Let's head to the oasis. That's a good idea. Let's head to the oasis. Warning. Corruption I know detected. there's corruption. Yeah, that was terrifying. That was all kinds of terrifying. Um, get a little bit of this. Get some food that'll help us heal. Yeah, it's giving us a, a little bit of health. Not much, but a little bit. Miss Spooky! Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream, friend. Let me give you a wave. Happy Monster Monday. How are you? How's the, the tummy after the death nut challenge? Yes, no, thank you for tuning in. Happy Monday. We just uh, got our butt kicked by this giant creature on an alien planet. <laughs> Let me eat a little bit. So now we know how to get bull cord, because they're the big ones that killed us, basically. Doing good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing okay, doing okay. Staying out of trouble. <laughs> I forget what we were trying to make with that bull cord, or, or what needed it. Was it the whip? No, that's the shock thing. Is it the backpack? Multipack, no? Was it one of the quest items, like this claw power? 
The staff of speaking. Oh, good. So we got one of the things we need, but we still need the Vaporisk's tooth, which is going to be ludicrous to try to get it done. All right, well, it's fine. It's fine. Stummy is doing good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's one of the things people don't need to think about when doing like spicy food challenges. Is it's you gotta you gotta go through the three stages. What's funny is um when we did the we did the one ship challenge, my buddy chugged chocolate milk, which is genius because you know like um they say that the if the capsaicin's a, an acid, right? That dairy is a base and it in theory neutralizes it. Well, he chucked like a full gallon, so of course he... Stage 3 wasn't good, or wasn't bad good. No, so he chugged the milk, which he threw up, basically. Um, so he had he got to skip his tummy being upset, and he got to skip his booty <laughs> being upset. So it's kind of genius, but unfortunately that means you had to feel the burn twice here. And like you had to put stomach acid on top of that, so... I don't know if it's, if it's worse. Right? I so we when we did the, the, the one ship challenge with Miss Boopy Miss Spooky, I um I feel like I got nothing accomplished the next day. Like, I was just miserable. I generally thought I was about to get my stomach pumped. Which is not not great. Not great at all. Alright, well I'll tell you what, friends, we have been streaming for a full hour here. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna run a miracle story to talk to you a little bit more about extra life and how we're playing games here raising funds for sick kids. So I'm gonna take a quick break. Don't go anywhere with a great or sister in view. Stick around, we'll be right back. But then you, once you hear my story, you're like, oh wow, that's not any game. It wasn't a room full of doctors and it wasn't, wasn't a big over the top something that woke up my son, it was a game. We found out in utero that Alex would be diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome when he was born. He started school um, in kindergarten, did really well in first grade, um, though he started to show signs that he was slowing down and his heart was failing. Um, and then Alex had a stroke. So he was listed for a heart transplant. He waited 351 days, so just shy of a year. Then he received his heart transplant on January 23rd, 2015. And um, during that time, he fell into a psychosis. He forgot everything. He forgot how to speak. He forgot how to eat. He forgot how to do all of the normal things that um, a child at the age of seven should be able to do. I thought for sure that we had given him this great second chance of life only to have screwed up his brain and you know, he was not going to come back to us. And that wore on for the first week, and I thought, well, he's he's going to wake up. He's going to he's gonna get up, but he didn't wake up and didn't wake up. He was in psychosis for 13 days, and they told us, you can pull out his iPad and try to show him pictures, and sometimes that will bring him out of the psychosis. And I thought, well, we've tried everything else. Let's really, let's try this. So we brought out his iPad. I thought, well, let's let's play a video game. Let's bring up something. And Clumsy Ninja happened to be one of the things that we brought up. And, you know, the Zynga logo comes up and we're waiting. And he's like, his eyes started to follow to the screen. And he's kind of getting interested, which is way more than he'd ever done before. And, and I was holding the iPad and I was trying to just narrate what was going on in the screen. And he, he was still laying in the bed, but I was sitting next to him, and I started to do a few things, and she, like, tapped something, and I was like, that's not how you do it. And, like, I was like, this is how you do it. It was like hearing his, hearing him speak was like hearing him say my name for the first time as a new mom, because here he was back again. Clumsy Ninja, it's helped me in so many ways. It's helped me, like... I always say it's brought me back to life, technically, you know? As a parent, gaming kind of gets a bad rap because mom doesn't want the kids to sit on their um, devices or go down and play games all day. But now that I know the other side of it, 
now that I know that gaming does something completely different in my heart and in my mind, it's such a wonderful, wonderful, almost, um, it could be used as a medicine or a tool, I think. People don't think that their small donations make very much of an impact, but it is so, so huge. It is so, so important for each and every single one of those people that work so hard playing their games and doing the things that they do through Extra Life Gaming because all of that funding is then funneled back to our hospitals. It really does give, when people say it gives children a second chance of life, they really mean it when they say a second chance of life. All right, gang, we are back. What you just saw was a miracle story, or just a really good example of how the funds raised here playing games with Extra Life makes the world a difference for kids in need in the Trillin's Miracle Network hospitals. Like that absolute champion you just saw in that story with Alex. Alex's story is super cool because not only was he, of course, treated by the Trillin's Miracle Network hospitals that we're fundraising here with, but he was also literally saved by video games. Like, it's... Video games are what kind of pulled him out of his coma and the kind of what got him back to being himself, which is really incredible. Uh, that That's a, probably one of my favorite stories for sure. We are currently playing some Beyond Contact, which is an open world sci-fi resource, ma resource management survival uh, exploration game. Kind of like an RPG, because we are leveling up and, uh, and such. Like we're building our bases, we're getting new abilities. Um, we just died, which isn't great, but what are you gonna do? Um, we've, respawned and got our stuff back and now we're trying to find these giant snakes that are terrifying and we might pick a fight with them i'd figure out where they are first so we're gonna prepare for a journey see if we can track them down and punch some snakes <laughs> let me get my head out of the way and we'll get right back in the gameplay okay um so we are back home ish i'm looking Yeah, all of our food expired. That's lame. So it doesn't just like expire one at a time, it expires all of them. We got plenty of battery in our, or plenty of juice in our battery, so that's good. And what are those, those things that stomp around here? Is this the same thing that killed us? Bullcrog. Okay, so yeah, there's a big one and there's, a, okay. There's a bullcrog and a crog, got it. They're very different, but also dangerous. Got it, got it, got it. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, God, he's following us! The corruption can't get me in here. I think... Since you know, tur or break our turret! Um, don't love that. Don't love that. Um... Yo! You rat. He's about to break our turret! He just broke our wall! Ow, 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 I'm gonna die again. No, no signs detected. I 
I can't believe that happened. That's the the basilisk, basilisk thing. I just turned the turret on. I didn't realize he was gonna. My turret was gonna attack him. I didn't realize he was gonna attack it, and I did not realize how weak my turrets are. That is sad. I need like way more than that, apparently. <sighs> this game's hard, guys. This game's hard. <laughs> yep. There it is. That's where we died last. Good news, all of our stuff is right here. I don't know if there's like any real penalty for that. Other than just the potential threat of losing your stuff. I need to build a new wall section. I need to make a new turret. Ah, home sweet home. Alright, well, first things first. Let's put away the crap we don't need. This is kind of organic stuff. We the people of the United States of America in order to form more perfect and establish justice and secure ensure domestic tranquility, provide the common defense, promote welfare. Yes, that, that sure is the constitution. That's kind of organic stuff, I think. Do we have void crystals? Void crystals. Baron ore? Baron ore. We're gonna keep the, these crystals to know, um... This is kind of manufactured. Tubing. We're gonna keep and we're gonna make more Metagel. Okay. Metagel. Cracked. Good. Uh, let's make some more... Let's make some more Metagel. Where's that tubing at? Good, we have lots of Metagel. Um, okay, let's put the tubing away. Whoa, 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 don't. Don't swing a pickaxe in here. Okay, we got lots of healing, good. Um, we do need heals right now, which is a little annoying, but what are you gonna do? I don't need the electrical wiring at the moment. I don't need these spark stones at the moment. How do I make another turret? I saw a mini turret a second ago. Pardon me, I just bumped my desk. I do need basic walls. Let me see if I have any of those. Guardian turret, Mark II. I need more crystals, more of that refined Pharon, and one more electrical wiring. All right, well, first things first, let me go get more of those crystals. Ooh, our stuff is ready to harvest. We won't starve after all. I can't believe that dude picked our butt that bad. Captain Jim Rayner. <laughs> You're at. Uh, if you guys look over my shoulder, you'll see that Captain Jim Rayner just used their phantom points to make me donate a dollar of my own hard cash to Extra Life. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Captain Jim, welcome to the stream, friend. Let me give you a little bit of a wave. How you doing, buddy? Happy Monster Monday. Why am I always a rat? <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> Let me go and we're gonna do a phantom point. Oops. Phantom point redemption. And this is gonna be the uh, Captain Jim. Give you a drum roll. There it goes, awesome. Captain Jim, thank you so much for those phantom points, buddy, I appreciate you. Even if you are red. <laughs> I didn't even go the main close up, my bad B. If you need the constitution, you're correct. Yes, yes. There is there's the notification, did I were there two? Hold on. Okay. We're good, we're good. It's too hot for making fruit. I'm gonna harvest all the things. I'm gonna harvest all the things. Ooh, I think I actually wanted to plant one more of these things, so note to self, if I see one in the wild, to dig it up. Dig up one tamper stalk. Are we- 
corruption detected. Oh, I was standing on the, the one void rift in my garden. Or the one bit of corruption. Okay. We're gonna have all of the seeds, which will be good for heals. We won't really need the metagel if we get those seeds on us. If we can cook our food, we'll be good. Oh man, now they're all stupid. I was hoping that like maybe the that would reduce the cooldown if they were split, but I was wrong. Which one is that? The unanimous declaration of the thirteen the declaration of independence? Pick up one tamper plant on our way out. Oh, I did want to check my fence to see if I can re repair that. There's that. Yep, I need I one piece of fence. I can't believe I made <laughs> such a nice base. Well, thank you for that compliment, self. Do I have any more walls? I do. Can I split this deck? It's fine. We'll just place it and put it back. Yeah, I can't believe that, that dude just totally kicked our butts like that. That was crazy. Well, we have a partial wall. Um, might as well put this away. I mean, I could try building, like, a full enclosure. I definitely want more turrets. Like, that's a, a must. This garden is fine for now. I'm not super worried about it because we haven't been raided or anything like that. Okay, um, I need heals, so let's do that. Eat all the seeds. Okay, we're at full health. Um, I do want to cook the food we got. I do, there's a furnace you can make, and I would rather do that because I feel like dragging, to cook 10 things I have to click and drag 10 times, and that's a lot, you know? I'm only going to cook these in batches though, I'm going to leave these guys be because I feel like the moment they are cooked, their cooldown timer starts, so if I wait till the, this cooldown gets almost to the bottom, I'll cook them and they'll get a new cooldown timer I think. We do still have glow sticks or the thermal torches, which I'm fine with. I don't want to freeze to death because it's about to be about to be nighttime. It's it's entering evening, and then it'll, it'll be nighttime up here if you guys can see that. All right, one more, and then we're done cooking until these guys are about to die. Good. Pick up. Okay. This is good. We're gonna put you away. Well, let's go find one tamber fruit. I mean, ooh. If I'm gonna fight these basilisks, basilisks or ba basilisks or whatever they're called, I don't want to do it with a baton that's about to break. How's my pickaxe? Pickaxe is at 30. It's fine. My shovel, 86 is fine. I still have not found a shock sprite, so that's not going to help me. Security baton. I need three of these ember crystals before I can make a new one. So we need a lot of more of those, so let's go find some... Some... Gold boys. 
There's at least three over here. There might be those stupid little bug boys on top of them, so there's that. I actually might be okay. I might be okay with, um, like these, which I'm alright with. Yep, we can research something already. Um... Powered mining equipment? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There, there's been like some stuff. It's like, oh, I, I, I can't break that with my bare hands. Okay, um, we're gonna wait until she gives us another warning before we bust out the torch, because the, the torches don't last as long as the night does. Ham sandwich. Is that what's for dinner, or are you just saying ham sandwich? Getting better at this. Oh, I leveled up. Heck yeah. Discovery. Forty-five percent chance to receive double crystals from mines. Yes, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Turkey sandwich. Hazard protection critical. And we'll now we'll light it. Okay. Let's get some more of these crystals. oxygen while we're here we're just messing around I figured as much <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were announcing what we were eating for dinner I had a buffalo chicken sandwich from the weekend actually it did a little did a, warmed up some leftovers we got some cookie dough is it cooked or is it still like raw CDC says eating raw cookie dough is a bad time how the zombie apocalypse starts Get some hot pockets. Ooh, what kind was it? Like the the ham uh, and cheese? Cause that that stuff is so good. Warning: corruption detected. Yeah, I know I'm saying corruption. It's raw. Ooh, be careful. Be careful, Brayden. <laughs> okay, so there is a, a Sparky. There's an icon I don't recognize over here. Corrosive gas detected. Corrosive gas. So this right here, void crystal mine. Mm. So that's something I would need like that powered mine to collect, which I figured as much, but now we know that it's at least in this general area. Cookie dough's only bad raw when there's eggs in it. Okay, so like if this is packaged cookie dough where there's intentionally no eggs in it, you're 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 fine. Ooh, there are more of these crystals right over here. I still have no idea where these... What do you call it? Where these Vasilisk snaky thing boys are. But after I build a new baton, we'll go looking for them. I'm not going into battle with a, a sword. It's about to break. Please leave me alone while I collect this. Thank you. Ah, you butts. Yep. I didn't want to have to fight you guys. I also dropped my pickaxe or my torch. Correct. Keep running, keep running. Ah, I'm getting I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. Don't wanna die, don't wanna die, don't wanna die. Definitely just took a hit while healing. Corner? The goo 
is already solidifying. All right, dude, you don't just get to like fight me and then run. That's what I thought. Cry for help, cry for help. Run away, corner yourself. Do it, yes, corner yourself. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Idiot sandwich. <laughs> Package, yeah, I figured as much. Okay, well I got a bunch of stuff. Was that a daily? Um... Defeat urchins, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did defeat five of them and I just killed like eight. I do need more heals, that's okay. Don't know where those basilisks are, but we're gonna head home for a second. We picked up a lot of stuff, and we gotta drop off some things. Nutrients. Warning. Apparently, I, I'm hungry. So you can see we picked up these keppel fruits about the same time we picked up the gobble grapes. Um, and these keppel fruits are like really burning down on their. I can't believe I made such they're, they're a nice kind of, base. They're rotting, really. That's that's what that's what's happening. Okay, security baton. That's exactly what we went out for. Craft. So now I have one that's at twelve percent, and I have one that's at one hundred. So that's good. We're gonna need a new pickaxe soon. So just now we got one that's hundred. Oh, did it just replace itself? I guess it did. Okay. Okay. We don't have full health at the moment. It's technically a weapon. I'm gonna take this with us and see if we can sell it. Drop you off. Ooh, plasm. I still know what that does. Okay. We could heal with these. Where are those things that? Oh, we we were using the heal. It's fine. Um. Not healing us. What about what about these? Will these heal us? Yep. They're about to expire anyway, and I didn't really feel like cooking them. That's fine. There, now we're at full health. Um we're at full oxygen. Let's Let's go sell what we have on us, and then we'll look for those, those vaporlisks. We gotta find them somewhere. I've seen them and just ran. <laughs> they are somewhere. Sell. So, I know, so you guys want these ember techs, and these ember crystals. You guys want this muscle leg. Oh, they're about my timber. And I'm literally growing gold in my backyard. That's awesome. Okay. How can I pimp out your guys' area? You guys need more of these Brackland techs. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a tower right outside. Let's go pick a fight. We're going to beat up a tower and... We get some more text out of it. Good news is it's not far from the, uh, the border, so like I can fight at them and kind of just like run away. That's right, I'm over here.
Oh, you got a sniper. Don't love that. I feel like if I could make a mine, and I know, I, they just, my day up. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, like taking out a one, easy, because you just like watch their patterns, but. Yeah, those four just absolutely bullied me. Research reveals some interesting results. Okay, uh, we're gonna teleport back and get our stuff back. Oops, I've died more in this stream than I've ever died playing this game. So there's that. There's that. Yeah, let's teleport back to the Oasis, get our stuff, and then... Maybe I'll make a bomb? I don't know how hard it is to make bombs in this game. I don't even know if I bombs researched. Maybe the bomb's a wrong term for it. Maybe it's a mine. How many board rests do we have? One, two. That's not bad. There's two. Yeah, the rumor is that. 12 of them appear on at once, it's game over. Like, the planet has ripped itself apart. You failed to... You failed to save the world. Do I even, like, attempt to fight them again? When I was younger, I thought thrift shops were made up. Nope, that's a, that's a thing. That is a thing. Where shops exist. Now I need to treat my injuries. That did not go well at all. Um, I was like, I'll just pick a fight, you know. I got two shot. Just bop bop. That was terrible. Okay. Clearly, I need better armor before I... I'm a fleshy. I guess that makes sense because I'm wearing, like, the spawning armor. Or, like, the, the starting equipment. I actually, like, tip myself out before I go out. Maybe this is good that I'm dying because that, that means I'm not ready to fight the Basilisk. Basilisk. I'm, I'm thinking too much of Harry Potter. Okay. We're gonna pick up our stuff and run. Don't mind me. I know it looks like I just teleported through here five seconds ago. It's an optical illusion. I definitely did not die twice. The same people in five minutes. That did not happen. That is fake news. I'm not picking a fight, I'm picking up my stuff. I think I got my things. Alright, let's head home and look into... What we need to get better stuff. Yeah, like this, this... Returnium mine, um... Yeah, that's what we need, like, those power drills for. The Boiling Springs, this might be where the Vasilis are. Got to find the heat source soon. I was... Look, let me... Nope. Oh. Let me dig this up and we'll plant it and we'll have it in our house. That's the goal. There we go. We plant our own. The Vasilisks, Vasilisks out here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is 
There's that, more of the Caternium. More of those little scutterbud things. Ur urchins, I think. Wait a second. What? What is this up ahead? Is this the shock sprite thing? Vasilis! 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 Okay. We know where they are. They're just outside the oasis. Got it, got it, got it. Um. Shoot. Let me heal up. Whoa, he's still following me. He doesn't like shoot venom, right? It's just like he bite, pops out of the ground. Okay, let me see if I can find some oxygen here real quick. Um, boy, I don't want to go into battle with not, <laughs> not being able to breathe. Ooh, ooh, a shock sprite. Do I have to hurt them? I don't want to hurt them. I think, I think they can be lured into traps. Freezing in progress. Can I trap them with my net? Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, bro. Don't love that. Want to pick up my net. Right? That's not a weapon. I know it's not a weapon. Can I can I pick that up? Okay, so we got a captured shock creature. Okay, and that's also not far outside the oasis. We still need that oxygen. There are two things of oxygen over here, okay. That was terrifying. I know. I don't want to fight the Vasilisk in the dark either. That makes it harder. Uh oh, hold on. Pumpkin Jack wants us to exercise our wrists. Fist, open, palm, open, tail to claw, half his fist. Fist, open, palm, open, tail to claw, half his fist. Here we go. Why is this one highlighted yellow? Warning. Corrosive gas detected. Okay, so don't be in the red. Got it. Now, like, why is this guy red? See that? Basilisk. Good, good, good. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh, don't love that. Um. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was that. Was that one of those ninja boys? Okay. Oh, he's right. He's right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, where'd you come from? There's a corrupt dude. Is there a tower out here? No. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so. The Vasilisk, sure enough, can, in fact, shoot Venom, which I don't love. Oh, I'm gonna get blown up. Is it, am I too much into us, this spore biome? Yeah, I'm taking damage. Okay. Oh, wow, 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 these guys are still on me, jeez. Whoa, that was a big dude! I am in so much danger. Everything around me just wants to kill me. Spores, um... Corruption, va Vassal, double Vasilisk! Jeez, how am I even supposed to compete against this stuff? Corruption detected. What? 
Oh, I just ran into a, the wrong place to find a dead end. Okay. We're in the scorch fields. Um, we need heals. Um, that was all terrifying. I just want to fight some snakes. That's it. Okay. Got all the nutrient paste I need. Let me. We're just gonna leave this area and we're gonna try finding some basilisks without going like crazy into this infection. It sucks that they're in packs. Yep, here they are, here they are, here they are. Oh, and it leads it on the ground, so I can't even like, oh, I can't even keep the same pattern up. Yep, I'm I'm one hit. I'm one hit from uh, dying. And there's an accident on the ground. Uh. What sucks is like. If I build this baton that I, I'm going to use to kill these basilisks, it can break, right? I've done like no damage to them. Fudge. All right, I need better armor. So I'll worry about, I'll worry about better weapons once I get better armor. Cause what good is being a glass cannon, right? Like what if I, what good is hurting them if I take one lick of damage and I'm dead, right? So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep trying to pick up, um, Brackland text to pimp out the market. And if I gotta buy, Buy my way to better stuff, I'll buy my way to better stuff. Because right now, woof. Those guys were absolutely Protection. kicking my butt. Gosh, this game is so hard. Okay, here, let's try... Let me try, let me try kicking one of these guys' butts. Whoa. I'm such a fleshy. Yep, I gotta get better armor. That's the fourth time I've died this stream? Son of a bulldog. Well, time to make the holy pilgrimage back to my corpse. That sucks. That sucks. I had a bunch of good stuff on me too. Shame. Okay. We died not too far from the oasis. These guys who live there are like, didn't you just teleport here like five minutes ago? Don't adjust your television set, sir. That would be correct. I did in fact, I mean, I got killed by corrupted warriors. I got killed by basilisks. I mean, it wasn't the environment that killed me this time. Like I didn't starve or freeze or go hungry. I just, you know, got my butt kicked. It sucks. How am I gonna... I gotta get better armor so I can get better weapons, so I can get better things. Explore out farther, which makes sense. I 
Can't pick this open with my fingers. That struck. Whoa. I'm just trying to pick up my stuff. This guy has an AoE and, ooh, a directional thing. I want to go home. Ooh! I just hold still the heal. These guys are so dangerous. Woof, 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 woof. Get my brand new... baton I made is right here. There we go, 100%. Man, I almost had one of these guys killed too, but nope. Okay. Let's head home. Let's head home and then we'll... Radiation we'll try to figure out how to make better armor because it's not going. Need to go, but it was nice to watch your stream. Miss Spooky, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. You have yourself a good evening. I don't need to tell you, but you stay spooky. Now now I owe you. I gotta tune into one of your streams next, besides just your, your clips that you've been posting. Have yourself a good evening. Take the long way. Hazard protection. Wait, Critical. why is the why is this teleporter highlighted on my mini map? Where does it? Why does it want us to go here? Why is this bright white? Head home. I mean, we had to fabricate these things I've never seen before. It's hard. Suit won't hold anymore. I can't believe I made such a nice base. Let me build a. Oh. Can I build another, like, armor thing? How do I build armor? Okay. So the armor that's in this display is not the same armor I had. So that gives me better protection all around. Okay, so this is the Hasgard helm. Okay. Is there anything better than the Hasgard helm? Let's let's take a look here. We have the Hasgard helm, the Hasgard suit. There's a head torch, which wide angle lighting keeps your hands free. Okay. Heated coat designed to repel ravages of frostbite. Not only is a warm jacket, also super comfortable. Okay. Protect visor. So I could build that. The protective body suit. 35% protection versus 50. So what I have is the best. Protective hood, 25%. Okay, so this does protect better against spores. Okay, well, I don't plan on going to a spore here, but I could I could build that soon. Hammercloth Sparkstone? Oh my gosh, actually. Hold on. I have no business being in a, in a spore biome anytime soon. I need to be in a just a fight with basilisks. 
Um, what else can let's we craft here? Can we craft any of the things we need for our proximity mine? I mean, that would be super helpful against the basilisks. Oh my gosh, we can make a ton of these! Power pick, we could get that special stuff we, we want. Force field inverter. This module allows the wearer to pass through a force field. That is a phase core. Phase core is. Uh. Okay. Well, purple lighting, I don't really care about that. Let's go back to crafting. What can we craft that's really going to help us? I do have this net. Oh, that thing got away when I died. Shame. Don't have the the, the shock sprite tendril. We could try fighting those guys to make a shock hole, which would help us with the fast lists. Maybe we pick a fight with those dudes. Maybe we use the bombs to pick a fight. Tell you what, let's make some bombs. We need electrical wiring. Let's make some electrical wiring. We have 10 bombs. 20 sounds like a better number. Oh, so we can only, 10 is a full stack, so we have two stacks of bombs. Let's make some metagel. Okay. Freezing in progress. We did want to plant. So one thing a timbre here. Let's find a better place. Good. And I did want to see if we can make that backpack. What do we need to make the backpack? The multi pack. The, vi the viperlisk scales. Okay. So let's go pick a fight with those electrical boys. Protection critical. I know. Oh, we actually got plenty of stuff we can harvest, so let's do that real quick. That way we could be regrowing while we're gone. Oh, we could probably drop the stuff off that we have on us, too. We're carrying too much crap. I know I feel like I'm all over the place because, truthfully, I am all over the place. Um, put these here. This is straight up gold. Weapons and stuff. You guys can go here. Oxygen warning. Go. Okay, I don't think we want to get rid of anything else on us. Oh, the electrical wiring doesn't have to stay. Okay. There we go. We'll harvest a bunch of stuff. We'll go to the traders. We'll go pick fights with those electrical squids. And then maybe we'll drop some bombs on some basilisks. Ba basilisks. Basilisks. Not the basilisk. Ooh, I wouldn't mind making that furnace. That way I don't have to use a portable stove. Portable stove is still actually at like 50% health almost, 42. But the fact that I have to look things up one at a time is really annoying.
Oh, these the plants sure have broke. I wasn't digging them up. Guess I have to replant them? And that one broke too. Weird. It's deciding if it wants to grow more. Ah, my oxygen levels are low. Okay. Well, I guess we lost one in the process. Oh, there it is. Okay, I learned they don't automatically just stay there forever. It can kind of die out. Not a big deal, but here. It'll probably take longer to mature, which is a little annoying. Okay, now we need oxygen bad. Who's this guy? What's up, P. Walter? Welcome to the stream, friendo. How are you, man? Saw you were uh, streaming some... Breath of the Wild, eh, not Breath of the Wild, dear lord. Tears of the Kingdom earlier, and on top of that, you had your webcam on. Exciting, man. How's, uh, how's the game treating you so far? Okay, so we do need a little bit more oxygen. Fine. Tears of Kingdom was yesterday, too. It was Ori, you're right. Or was it Ori in the Blind Forest? Or Ori and, um... There's two of them, right? There's Ori in the Blind Forest and the Will of the Wisps? The Will of the Wisps? Blind Forest. Did part three of four today, okay. That game looks super pretty. I've heard people say the gameplay is actually super hard, which I find hard to believe. I saw anything else, Tamber. Hey, money. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's drop this thing. Challenging. God, the escape sections are infuriating. Is it like um, not like a quick time event, but if you make one wrong mistake, you just die. I want to see if dropping bombs on these guys will help me win this fight, so we're gonna... We're gonna give these a shot. I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to drop bombs all around this thing, but also not blow myself up at the same time. Okay, that worked. Oh, he shot me. <laughs> okay, it's working, it's working. I am guerrilla warfaring this. Oh yeah, that's right, this guy can shoot through walls basically. I almost got him dead, actually. Reflex, yep, lots of reflex play. I believe that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over. Oh good, they brought in reinforcements. One dude is actually almost dead. <laughs> got one, got one, got one. I mean, they're all just gunning for me, so if I throw this and run, it gets a few at a time. Ooh, definitely just took a hit there. Didn't love that. So I'm out of one set of bombs. Corruption detected. 
<laughs> I've almost got them. Ooh. Didn't love that. They're not walking over it. Walk over it, Big Lumpy. Walk over it, Big Lumpy. Ah, he got it, he got it, he got it. Okay, I've only got a few left. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Got another one. That one hurt him. That one hurt him. It's my last bomb. All right, guys, you got it. You got to get over here. Blow it up. Blow it up. Bombs are gone. Time, time. Actually, let me use my one. That's three percent. Oh, one's dead! Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Sorry, but you started it. Oh yeah, he definitely hit me there. Alright, I'm low on health. Let me Oxygen warning. Gosh, is there oxygen nearby? Sort of. Oh, he doesn't heal up while I'm out healing up. What's up, Lone Wolf? Not me to gather that. That's fine. All right, well, my one baton broke, so let's, um... Bust out the ones 99%. Hopefully, they didn't all just respawn, because that would be really sad. I'm sorry that I have to breathe. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's there. Oh, I didn't see him behind the... <laughs> okay. Now that's just him, this will be good. Like, I can I can take him out by himself. He's big and slow. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Okay, with any luck I can take out. Oh, oh, there's still a proximity mine there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this area should potentially be not infected for much longer. Okay, um... Can I pick up your your axes? How did he get so strong? Nope. Okay. Boy, that was that was a lot. Um, we came here to get some more of those fancy what you call them's. Oh yeah, we need heals and, and we need food. This is giving us both. Good. So we came here to get more of those Brackland texts, and we can use the Brackland texts to pimp out the market, which we can use to make ourselves less fleshy. I redeemed myself. Okay, um, crystal gatherings. 
Or helps to explore for rare crystals. That's good because I can't like mine them like crazy myself. Metals? Forgotten worth for studies all brand advanced equipment. Track creatures. I could really care less about the creatures. Then again, if these creatures are kicking my butt. Um, I won't need to get Brackland or the Basilisk Fangs if they get them for me. Okay, let me sell you some more stuff. Yeah, take my face crystal. I don't know what it does. <laughs> okay, do you guys have the fangs? Gas Blossom Vein. Small plant stem that seems to produce a dummy agent can be used as basic medicine. Okay. Narnip. Preserved fruit. Ooh! Long time without spoiling. Preserved meat? Heck yeah. Spoiled timbre, fine. Void claw. Shoot. Okay. Well, no, um. No basics fang, but one can help. Throw through my back on Thursday. P. Walter, no! It'll be night soon. Got some muscle relaxers on board, and I'm waiting for them to kick in. Honestly, uh, I've only tried muscle relaxers once, and they just knocked me the. Out. But I'm sorry to hear you threw your back out, buddy. What were you doing? I can't believe I made such a nice base. All right, gang. Well, we are home. Um. Gosh. We we get, we got some stuff done. Um. We got some dailies done. That's all I can say for now. I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit here, and we're gonna go ahead and head to the carrying groceries. That's exactly how I threw my back out the second time I've ever done it. First time was at work, second time was at uh, bringing groceries. Ironically, it was for Extra Life, because I was loading up for like the 24 hour marathon. I'm like, I need groceries for the week. I want snacks, so, like I'm gonna munch a little bit every hour. And I didn't think it happened like getting it out of the trunk. I think it was just like picking up off the ground so I could open up my door. I didn't even like feel it immediately, but the next day I was just smoked, man. Well, do Walter, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your back feels better. Yeah, I was ruining that, that boat, like, last week. You made pancakes on the Blackstone? That sounds awesome. And, it's, like, it's so perfectly flat, too, so it's just... Yum, yum, yum. All right, gang, well, I'll tell you what. We've been streaming for full two hours here, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna conclude our broadcast, and we're gonna go to the outro screen so we can find someone to raid together. Don't go anywhere. We're about to turn our party into someone else's party. Stick around. We're about to make their day. We'll be right... Yeah. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short or fat or thin or ugly or handsome like your father. <laughs> or you can be black or yellow or white. It doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. All right, gang. This one's a no-brainer. We're going to go ahead and drop a raid over our friend Miss Pooky or Miss Spooky, uh, depending on how you want to pronounce it. They're currently doing a little bit of a game you guys should all be familiar with here. It's a Cult of the Lamb. If you're not familiar with Cult of the Lamb, it's like a top-down kind of cartoony, roguelike action adventure game where you as Twitch viewers can actually be put into the game as like a follower in the cult. Um, and it actually helps the streamer, gives them like prayers and special abilities. And you can actually even be like turned into a demon that they can take into these raids with them, like these dungeon crawls. It's pretty sweet. And even if you die, you can get resurrected. It's pretty great. Um, they actually just released a uh, DLC slash update for this game. So there's a chance I might be jumping back into it later here. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that Pumpkin Jack puts some info in the chat for us right here. For us to copy from my chat and paste over into this Pookie's once we get there. But yeah, feel free to show, say anything along the lines of raid or brains or hype. Or just show them any love. Obviously do the stay spooky emote because it's like their namesake or something. But yeah, that's going to be it here for me today. We're doing some Halo Infinite tomorrow. Playing with viewers if you guys want to tune in and to join us. But that's going to be it 
from me this evening. As always, there's never been anyone like you. There is no one like you, and there'll never be anyone like you. Love yourselves, love each other, I love you. We'll see y'all later. Stay spooky. Have a good evening. Good night.